So one of the things I've been talking about for years is how web development is still the king in the job market as a developer, whether you do simple web design or go into full app development, et cetera, et cetera. So people look at some of the, uh, some of the professions, some of the specializations in the programming world like AI development or blockchain. They hear a bit of hype and they assume, ooh, that's where all the money's at. And I've shown in video after video where I show stats and charts and all kinds of data to show that the fact of the matter is, is when you become a developer, the level of compensation equalizes regardless of your specialization. Whether you make, you know, 90000 a year, 150000 a year has a lot more to do with your experience and your overall ability, not the type of programming you get into. That being said, when you first jump into programming, I like to maximize your opportunities, your probabilities of you're going to land a job. So what do you do? You look at where the demand is. So this brings up a, a little piece that I was um, introduced to. Somebody in the audience talk, mentioned this Upwork uh, press release. So let me just read it, and I'll give you some of my two cents here. Upwork releases top 15 most demand skills for independent web, mobile, and software developers. So, uh, so okay, they're publicly traded. Uh, in light of COVID's, let me just zoom in here a little bit here. In light of COVID's, well, let's see if I go in tighter. I don't know, that's good. In light of COVID-19's impact on the economy, many organizations are navigating new business demands, and as a result, they are experiencing difficulty finding and retaining talent with the technical skills required to keep up with the pace of digital transformation. A recent survey found that 51% of hiring managers plan to engage independent web, mobile, and software developers this year. Nearly half, 49%, cite need, needing access to skills and expertise as their reason why. Upwork's top 15 most in the band skills reveal the essential role skilled professionals are playing in filling tech gaps and solving businesses' most pressing needs. Technology is evolving rapidly and companies must adapt and stay ahead, said Mike Paylor of Upworks VP, Upworks VP of Engineering and Product. This means building a virtual talent bench that can contribute diverse skills and deep knowledge to solving highly technical problems. In, over, in order to overcome talent scarcity issues, hiring managers are rethinking how they resource talent and this data indicates more leaders are turning to Upwork. Well, of course, you know, this is a press release that, uh, you know, favors them. But anyway, from JavaScript to Python to HTML, these highly sought after skills are also there. Uh, let me, just, let me start, try that, reading that again. From JavaScript to Python and HTML, these highly sought after skills also show there is opportunity for independent talent to grow their businesses and build valuable relationship, relationships with high quality clients from around the world. So I mentioned this article not to say, oh, go work for Upwork. No, I'm mentioning this to say, this is a big data set here and uh, it will give you an idea of what the market is like in terms of uh, the demand. Again, this is just reiterating, uh, this is another data point for, as far as I'm concerned. For me, from my point of view, with regards to what I've been telling people for years, the web is king. Not AI, not blockchain development, uh, not server, not, uh, I don't know, server security. Those are all great. But there are many, many, many more jobs in this field, in the web area, meaning a lot easier to get a job, right? So let's look at the top 15. So you got JavaScript. CSS, HTML, it's the web stack. Website development, general, I guess this is based on a survey. PHP, there we go, PHP again. Oh man, dirty old PHP. API development, WordPress, HTML5, well I guess they, HTML, HTML5, same thing. Web design, Python, web application, API integration, jQuery, <laughs> MySQL, and React. No Ruby. All right, so let's go. The data was sourced from Upwork's database and is based on gross service volume. 
from April 1st, 2020 to September 30th, 2020. Each skill had a minimum of 500 projects projects during the period. Uh, all right, so he says, we serve every, everyone from one person startups to 30% of the Fortune 100 with powerful trust-driven platform it enables companies to, and freelancers to work together in new ways. All right, so this is not uh, an Upwork paid promotion. It's just another data point. I like to look at data points from different places uh, to see whether or not my uh, thinking about things, whether it be technology, programming, business, whatever it is, is, is accurate. That's what you want to do in life. A little, another little tip for you guys out there and girls. If you want to know what's really up, what's really the case, what's accurate, don't stay in your echo chamber. Start looking around different sources of information, especially sources that conflict. The more you can, um, the more information from more desperate, di not desperate, disparate sources that you can access from, uh, the more accurate your information is going to be. I got this back in the day when I was doing martial arts. I would go from uh, grappling, from judo, and wrestling to uh, boxing, uh, to catch Campbell, to wing chun, all these different styles, trying to figure out what really makes a good fighter. And it actually took me uh, training from different styles that, uh, in many ways, philosophically, they had conflicts and differences in terms of how they felt, how people should best prepared to fight and how the best strategies and so on and by combining all these different styles you start figuring out you start figuring figuring out what really works right that's what mma is all about and great software developers work that way as well that's why in my courses i teach uh, three programming languages javascript python and php and i teach of course html5 css3 and i teach sql and databases a whole bunch of other stuff as well the point is by looking at three different languages uh, looking at how they approach uh, software development, and um, you start to become a better programmer that way. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, the main point of this uh, video is that, A, it's all these tech technologies and skills that uh, have been around for years and years and years. JavaScript, CSS, HTML, PHP, API development, WordPress, jQuery, uh, API integrations, React, uh, Python. These technologies have been around for decades. Two decades, well, maybe one decade, two decades, three decades in some situations. And they're still super, super, super in demand. In fact, in the most demand, and their demand is only increasing. Uh, anyway, I hope this is useful to you. Bye-bye.